G'day. In this episode of the Oracle Mobile Application Framework Online Training, we'll, we will depart from looking at the AMX pages and components and instead discuss another type of user interface page supported in our MAP applications, that of the remote URL or URL. The remote URL creates a page in your application that isn't based on a local AMX or HTML page, but rather makes a call to a remote website and embeds that in your application via an in-app browser. For all and intents and purposes, the remote URL is embedded in your application as a feature like AMX and HTML pages, and allows you to mix and match both local and external content into your application. It's quite common for mobile applications to embed a browser to access remote content. And for your purposes, as you're building out a mobile application to supplement an existing web application, it may allow you to progressively build your mobile application and include remote content without having to build all the content into the mobile app in terms of its functionality in one go now. As you'll likely appreciate, because the remote URL feature allows you to call remote web pages, that is remote uh, web pages from the device, this requires that your device is currently connected to the internet. For all intents and purposes, you need to understand the remote URL is a remote application. Note that when referring to remote content, ideally, the remote content should be optimized for mobile devices. As the remote content is embedded in the MAPS apps browser and there is limited screen real estate, the remote page should take that into consideration. In turn, the remote page should support mobile gestures and other smartphone and tablet optimizations, such as those provided by Oracle's web-based ADF framework. In other words, if you have any control over the remote content that is called and how it is designed, try not to build just a common web page used for desktop browsers, but build it for the mobile web as well. And finally, to make the remote URL content feel as seamless to the user as possible, if we can make the look and feel and behavior of the page, make that the same that it mimics that of the platform it is rendering on, that it being iOS or Android, for example, this will make the user much happier. So let's have a quick look at a demo on how to build a feature with a remote URL. Here we have a brand new feature called Remote URL Feature. Within the Content tab, we change the content default from MAF AMX to Remote URL. Then in the URL Connection field, we select the plus button. This opens the Create URL Connection dialog, allowing us to define the URL of the Remote URL feature. From here, we'll give the connection a name and a URL endpoint. Having completed the dialog, we can see the connection defined in the mathfeature.xml file, and in addition, we can also see it exposed via the Application Navigators, Application Resources panel under the Connections URL options. In turn, under the Descriptions ADF Meta Inf options, we can see the connections XML file. If we open that node, we can see the associated source code of the connections XML file, which stores the connection definitions. Returning to the math feature XML file, next to the connection, you can see the Show Browser Navigation Buttons checkbox. This determines when the remote URL is opened in our math application, is a navigation bar with back and forward buttons displayed too. If we run this application and open the specific feature, We can see the remote web page embedded in our application. Note, if we go to a link in our page that's not included in the automatic whitelist, such as this one that goes to training.oracle.com, which is different to www.oracle.com that we define in the connection, the new page will be open in the browser of the device rather than in the application. As we saw during the demo, something odd happens when we attempt to go to a URL that's not directly related to the URL of the remote URL that we defined. The remote URL feature enforces a whitelist of domains that are accessible via our MAF application. If the domain of the URL is not found in the whitelist, then for security reasons, MAF will treat the URL differently.
Currently what it does is then open the URL in the actual device's browser, leaving the user to think about the security implications of browsing websites that aren't supported by the MAF application. The whitelist, which we'll look at how it's configured in a moment, supports listing domains, but not paths. In terms of domains, it does support wildcards with a star, such as star.domain.com, and even an open star for allowing all websites. Obviously though, this represents a security risk, so use this carefully. It's worth noting in your math application, any connections you define in the connections XML file, including remote URLs, web service connections, and so on, are implicitly added to the whitelist at runtime. In this screenshot in the math application XML file, under the security node, you can see the remote URL whitelist option where you explicitly define the URLs. One obvious question arises with remote URLs. The examples we've seen so far, the URL is hard coded to something like http forward slash forward slash www.oracle.com. Now, when we call a remote website, it may be necessary to add parameters to the URL based on some application logic, or even change the remote URL entirely. So how do we go about doing this? And in addition, in the case of a dynamic URL, how do we add this to the whitelist? The solution in code is to make two separate calls to the ADF MF Java Utilities class. Firstly, it has a static method override connection property, which given the connection name and a new URL, will remap the connection in the connections XML file associated with the remote URL at runtime. It is also necessary to add the URL to the whitelist dynamically too via a call to the ADF MF Java Utilities add whitelist entry, supplying the remote URL feature name and the new URL too. As in this case, the URL of the connection is not automatically added to the whitelist, unlike specifying the connection URL at design time. And now you have the basics of embedding remote URL content, that is content from remote websites, into your MAF application. Thanks very much for your time today.